earlier, I was speaking about um, spirits and how some people are born with negative spirits. And then it just reminded me of, like, I saw that smoke. Yes, yeah, come cooking. Oh, I meant Okay, never mind. So that reminded me of the story about uh, my sister, Danielle. When I told this story a million times, and I probably told it on this YouTube channel, but this is my official story. Um, when we were younger, um, we were eating some chicken gizzards. Nichelle told me this story. Um, we were eating chicken gizzards, and I guess apparently Danielle felt like I had too many. I was about 18 months. She was about three. She's not that much older than me. Anyway, she felt like I had too much. She didn't have enough, so she gets mad, and then she goes to the stove, pulls up a chair, get a fork, put the fork, fork on the stove, and then come and So I had that little mark there till I was 13, 14. I got a sunburn, and then it eventually evaporated or burned away. But my whole point is that some people were born with that spirit why the hell would she be that envious and jealous of me at three? I ain't do nothing. And it wasn't my fault that mommy gave me more chicken gizzards than her. You know what I mean? Like, dang, why are you hating on me at three? She's been like that our whole life. She's just been envious of everything that I've done. It's just that spirit that's in her. Like, it is her. She could have cured that jealousy envy in her. She clearly doesn't know how to. That's why she did it. But um, some people are just born with that spirit. Some people just have the spirit of envy and jealousy or negativity or whatever that's in them. I don't know how to get rid of that other than praying, but there's my story. So while I was editing the video, it dawned on me that I do know how to cure an envious, jealous spirit. Well, not cure, just get it out of you. However... The individual who is hosting that negative spirit, meaning you, you have to want it. I don't know how to get that spirit out of people, like get away from me type of spirit. I'm still learning. But as far as like, if you know within yourself, I like, yeah, I, I got some issues. I, I got some things I need to work on. Um, not even like this Danielle story, because that was extreme. I just mean, if you're just like one of those people where you notice you are comparing yourself to other people, not always in a negative, jealous way where you're just being a hater, but like, I don't know if you see somebody and you're like, dang, she got a nice body. And then you kind of like feel a little jealous or envy. Not that you're a hater, just a little tingling, whatever. The best way you can cure that is to focus on yourself. <laughs> And I know that sounds like an asshole thing, like focus on yourself. But no, it's really focused on yourself. You have to look at you. Who are you? Knowledge of self, that's all I would talk about. Who are you? Focus on you. What do I need to improve on? I have a speech impediment. Not only do I have a speech impediment, sometimes I don't always speak the best. I don't articulate myself the best. I do not articulate myself the best because I grew up in an environment where if I articulated myself in a certain way, I was frowned upon, which is really strange because my father was a real strong stickler for proper speech and he just didn't like us to not speak properly. And even Nichelle, she just Nisha was big on words and so was Skip. So I, I still have a problem articulating myself. So now that I know that about myself, there's no one who can say anything to me and make me feel bad about not being able to articulate myself correctly or having a speech impediment. Because I know damn well I have a speech impediment. Y'all know I got a speech impediment because I fucked up on words three times in this video. But once you focus on yourself, then you can focus on who you are and how to build a better version of yourself the more you focus on yourself and not other people you will not have the time to worry about what they're doing and how they're doing and how many chicken gizzards mommy gave them because you're looking at your plate don't look at my plate and count my gizzards when you got gizzards on your plate you know what I mean